Okay, this, this has been a really active legislative session. It's got a lot of uh, press, both locally and nationally, That's some true. good, some bad. But we've got a great guy here to explain it all to us, Dennis DeBar uh, from Greene County. He's one of the rising stars in the legislature up there. Uh, He's a fantastic public uh, servant. Uh, has a practice uh, in Leakesville, uh, family law, personal injury, criminal law. He's a great lawyer as well and a good friend. Yes. Glad to have him. Thank you for having me, guys. Hey, Dennis, great to have you on the show. We've been trying to work this out for two seasons, and between legislative sessions and the show, see, I'm just, we're just really glad to get you on the show finally here. I'm really glad appreciate to be here, it. Dennis. And glad you brought your wife down. Hope you all have like a little date night or something like this. We're Coming trying. To the coast. Good, <laughs> we're good, good. Well, I'm going to get him home to you as soon as I can, I promise. <laughs> uh, Dennis, the legislative session finished up, I guess, about six weeks ago ish, yeah. something like that. About that. How, looking back on it now, the session started with a lot of talk about MDOT and funding, and then went a couple of different ways. I don't know if anybody would have predicted in January. What is your thought, looking back, now that you've had a couple of weeks to think about it, where do you put the 2016 session in your mind? I think it was a, it was a very successful session in that we got a lot accomplished. Um, it was a very difficult session, controversial, as was mentioned earlier. Uh, everything from a Religious Freedom Act, mm -hmm. uh, the roads and bridges funding. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't come up with a, a revenue stream to, to fund our roads and bridges, but uh, we had a lot of good conversation about that, and we're looking forward to, to going back in January and uh, resolving that, hopefully, again. Uh, one of the other issues coming up is uh, the BP money. It's yes. a big topic down here. Um, up in Leakesville, it's not so much a big topic, but down here on the coast, it sure. really is. Sure. And so, uh, Where's that money going to go? Is that going to go to the, the three Gulf Coast counties? Or is it going to go to the entire state? That's, right. that's one of the issues that uh, may be called up for a special session next month. Uh, we're not sure. Uh, we heard rumors about it, but uh, we'll, we'll find out soon enough. We've heard that. And, and, yeah. and like uh, Dennis said, this, that's an extremely important issue for the Gulf Coast. And, you know, obviously I have uh, some strong ideas as to where sure. the money should go. Shoot, we all, I can about? already hear <laughs> North Mississippi calling for the BP money. I can hear them out of the corner so, of my ear right yeah, now. and like, uh, we and need so, it. Yeah, so we did a lot of work in that and saw a lot of people uh, locally yes. uh, who suffered uh, tremendously in their businesses and otherwise property damage. Uh, and so, you know, we feel strongly about that. Right. Mm -hmm. And on a side note, too, because uh, we try to bring in a good panelist uh, for our group each Saturday. And, and Dennis is a special one. He's also an Air Force JAG attorney, just like the TV show. Uh, did, you, did you ever run around with a gun like they did uh, on the I TV do show? I but I don't have a fighter jet. You don't have so. a fighter jet. That's <laughs> no, a shame. Don't. That is a shame. <laughs> so if you do have any of those type of military questions, we got the guy for that, too. We don't we usually get to say that here on Law Call. So we really got a great panel in tonight.